I guess we're uh, gonna be awake now and get ready to do things. And I can't wait. Mile until he stopped at a well lit gas station. Officer Joe. I'm in to Toma, I think it's called, Wisconsin. I was supposed to be getting fuel here, but uh, all the all the infrastructure is out here blocking the fuel island. So uh, this guy in this truck motioned to me, he wanted me to move his cone. I did, but I was sarcastic about it. I'm only human. I was like, why Why can't you get out and move the cone? Probably waiting for me to walk by. Currently traveling six miles per hour um, at the Indiana, Illinois state line on I-80. And uh, what that means is that like pretty much every other time I've found myself in this exact position, I am uh, contemplating my career decisions. And then as soon as I get this thing back up into 10th gear, I will immediately become happy with my lot in life again. That's usually the, the way this goes. Uh, no, this is really fun though. You should become a truck driver. It's never stressful and everything is always smooth. Follow me for more lies. Thank you. Get out there. Slowly forward. Stop there. Back up. Stop there. Truck in neutral, put off the brake. Slowly forward again. Neutral, put off the brake. Clear to exit. Updates. I am now in Michigan City, Indiana. A name that combines two of the greatest places on earth. Which is awesome. I love my job again. Except that I had to get out of the truck and stretch these legs. Top job. Semi slaps. Nice. To tell you the truth, I don't even know if I'm going to make it much further tonight. Like maybe Kalamazoo or something. Uh, we're getting close. All I need to do right now is make it into that restroom. So I think I can do that. How's my hair? Perfect. Thank you. I have arrived to Papa, Michigan. And uh, this is fine. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that is dirt slash gravel, exactly where I belong. Today I drove 591 miles, and I have 1,929 miles for the pay week so far. Honestly, that's pretty good. I can probably retire next week. I don't remember a lot from when I was a real little guy on account of how memory works or whatever, but there's one distinct memory I have. And uh, I can tell you, it, I was only like four years old at this time or had like just barely turned four years old. I was living in a place called Shingletown, California. And I was at a house. And that house actually belonged to Karen. And uh, Karen, I remember distinctly, it was in the evening, it was dark, and someone came bursting in the front door of your house and announced, Big Wheels is on fire. And then Lee hopped out of his chair 
and he said a word that I wasn't supposed to know at four years old and I try not to use now. And then they both left. And Big Wheels, for those of you that don't know, um, why would you know, was the name of this restaurant in Shingletown, California. It was like a very big historic landmark in our area. And I think it was built in like the 30s or 40s and uh, has an intertwined history with like my family. My mom worked there when she was young. Um, ate there a lot when I was a, a little kid and stuff. It was like a big part of the community up there. And uh, it burned down that night. This was like 1997 or the very end of 96 or the very beginning of 97. And then shortly thereafter, I moved to Reading. I didn't live in Shingletown anymore. But then eight years, eight years later, in 2005, I was staying with my aunt and uncle in a place called Lake McCumber, which is very, just a little further east than Shingletown. And uh, in the morning, my aunt was driving me back to Reading to take me to school, I think, because I was just staying the night there or whatever. And uh, as we were driving out, big wheels had burnt down for a second time. So in a weird turn of events, Big Wheels burnt down in 96 or 97 while I was there at Karen's house being babysat by her daughter, Katie, who I remember being very fond of as a kid. And then eight years later, when I didn't even live there anymore, I just so happened to be doing like an overnight visit to my aunt and uncle's house and it burnt down again. And I'm not trying to incriminate myself in any way, but I was there within a very short distance of Big Wheels both times that it burnt to the ground. Now, I don't want to start any kind of weird investigation or nothing, but I'm just saying, it is kind of odd. But yes, Karen, I do remember you guys. Some of my earliest childhood memories are being at your house. And it was really cool that you commented that. That is my story time for tonight. And I think I managed to do that way quicker than 13 minutes. I need to go to bed so I can have the fortitude and strength to brave Detroit in the morning. Thank you all for watching. Good night.